born for the saber. I saw in the in the trailer that yeah. there was a lot of fighting. Yes. Because this is about this blade and how you use it. Yeah. Tell me about that. We are the professional swordsmen. So that's that was our background from the big movies that we were working on in the past. We were in the stunt teams, we were preparing the choreography for one of the biggest productions in the country. So let's say that that stunt background was that impulse to get much deeper into filmmaking. And approaching that project, uh, from the far beginning, we knew that we really want to make a wonderful fighting scenes. So two weeks, we were filming, trying, doing different things. Me and Bartek, we were using swords, and guys around us were filming everything. So we invent, I think, very unique uh, way of filming fighting scenes. And that time spent together uh, on that process helped us with achieving one of the best duels in the cinematography. And I'm pretty comfortable with saying that because I really think that what we did on the set and what you will see in the movie later on, it's very well done. It's interesting that many people who have become successful in film come out of a stunt background. A yeah. team of people who choreograph and execute stunts for other productions, and then they realize that, oh, there's a camera. Where would the camera best be for this? Because I get presented with stunts now. They come with a fully cut sequence yeah. that they'll show me on the phone. So well, we think you should shoot it like this. Your camera was moving all the time. All I think the time. one of the important things that people forget is that uh, we're making movies, and so everything has to move. Yeah, it's a motion picture. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it, it seems that the strength of your storyline really comes back to the saber yeah. and, and how it was used in warfare in the 16th century, right? Yes, exactly. Uh, we put a lot of attention to giving a viewer the actual knowledge about how it was used in the past. So this choreography that we did for this movie is actual techniques from the 16th and from the 17th century. So we did a big research about it. You know, we recreate that technique and we used a real steel swords. So it wasn't like a plastic thing or like aluminum. It was a real uh, dangerous weapon that you can get hurt with. So the sword, saber. Yeah, curved sword. It's, it's so essential to the the storytelling that you wanted to make. Yeah. I, I like the fact that it's very grounded in the reality of how you use that weapon to yes. fight. And so you approach every scene with how did they do it? So it's always grounded in historical fact. And I think there's a lot of people tell stories without the depth of the grounding. And so it is a very cohesive thing to help you tell the story that the yes, knowledge of the blade. That, that was the approach. And when you do the historical movie, you need to pay attention to things like this. It's all about details. It's all about these little things that actually make a difference. We really tried to be as much realistic as it's possible and to, you know, keep the balance between being filmic and being correct historically. So that was the approach.